Hi, welcome to What The Hey. Thank you for joining me to learn the answer to a question that I received. And when I go to my notebook, I see that that question is, What the Hey is I am a pet trace? And this question originally comes from Lay2483, and it was also asked by a bunch of other people. So thank you all very much for the question, and I am excited to answer it. Now, in terms of a very basic answer to this question, who we are talking about today is I am a Petrace, otherwise known as Mary, who typically focuses their content on craft, makeup, and everyday life-related videos. With their 10 plus years of YouTube related experience, a lot of their channel has become synonymous with accusations, a lot of different memes, as well as relationship struggle. Um, but I will be explaining their channel in terms of like its history and timeline, mentioning a few of their videos, as well as just giving my general opinion. So hopefully I will be giving you a broad sense of what they do. Starting with the fact that if you're someone who has accounts on other stuff aside from YouTube, this channel has an Instagram, a Facebook, as well as a TikTok. So if you like to use those, they post similar content onto those platforms. So those are options. But when talking about the YouTube channel itself, because that's pretty much their biggest social media account, I did want to mention the history and statistics behind it because it's pretty impressive. So they decided to join YouTube on January 3rd of 2010. They have around 44 million channel views, around 412,000 subscribers, and around 711 different videos. So if you've never heard or seen their content before, I will have them tagged in the description. So if this is all new to you entirely, that can help you out. So now what I wanted to do is actually explain and mention some of the features of this channel, because if you're someone who doesn't just like to watch the videos that are uploaded, I wanted to give a few options if once again, this is all entirely new to you. Now, one of the features to support this channel, aside from just subscribing, is by buying some of the stuff that's listed in like the shop category. So if you want to support this channel monetarily, that is a way to do so. Now, another way to become familiar with this channel, aside from actually watching the content, is by going to the community posts, which most of those have to do with like selfies of different makeup looks they've done. They've also posted about updates for their content that are new, um, but then they also tend to post about like collaborations that they've done on other channels as well as their own. So if you want to keep like notifications on for that, just to see if they have uploaded new content, that is a way to do so. Now, if you're someone who really only watches a certain type of content by genre, this channel has a few playlists to offer in terms of like reactions, memes, music, or different like makeup looks. So if you like a certain type of content, most of the playlists are pretty organized. So you can just click one and watch those videos. Now, if you're someone who really likes to interact with the creator of a channel, there is an option to do that with this channel because they have done live streams in the past and most of them have to do with like answering questions or just giving updates and interacting with their viewers. So if you like live streams that are very much in the moment, they have done those. Now, if you like shorter videos in general, they have uploaded YouTube shorts in the past and most of them have to do with kind of like the vlog and life event related videos. So if you like videos that are more concise and not like the longer actual main uploads to their channel, those are available as well. So if you like short, concise videos, that is an option. Now, very briefly, what I would like to do is actually list a few examples of content on their channel, just so you can kind of see what they tend to focus on and like what they've uploaded in the past. Starting with the first video on their channel, which is titled my introduction to my channel, which was uploaded on March 24th of 2011, which is roughly give or take about 12 years ago. So they have been on YouTube quite a long time. And the newest video is titled, They Leaked Me Again, It's Not Fair, which was uploaded on October 31st of 2023. And then the most popular video is titled, How They Invited Me to Joy Storytime, which was uploaded on July 10th of 2018 and has around 1.2 million views. Now, in terms of my general opinion about this channel, one of the first things that I noticed is that the intros to their videos remind me of like early to mid 2010s type content on YouTube. Like the music they use for their intros are very upbeat. So to me, that just feels like nostalgic 2010s YouTube. Another aspect of this channel that I find interesting and kind of unique is like the makeup videos that they do because personally, I never grew up doing makeup or really liking it. Um, it is interesting. So to me, these videos are just fun to see because she knows a lot about it. 
Another thing I like about this channel is the fact that most of the content feels genuine in terms of like, it feels like a conversation, like you watch her videos and she's just explaining stuff and talking to the camera. So it feels very genuine and just very relaxed, which I can appreciate because a lot of videos nowadays on YouTube feel very fast, feel, like feel very rushed. So just in general, it feels really relaxing and I can appreciate that. It feels like there's a general and consistent channel aesthetic, especially with like the thumbnails and everything. Like there's a general consistent channel palette with like pinks and blues and stuff. Um, but in general, most of her content is fairly similar. Like it's not the same thing every video, but it's like you won't necessarily be surprised with what's gonna be uploaded. Kind of along the same thing, a lot of the videos that she posts, whether it's about like makeup, her life, or Harry Potter or something, feels like content she actually enjoys posting. Um, like she seems to just have general conversations with herself on the camera and then people enjoy it because it feels genuine. Um, so it doesn't feel like it's forced content, which I like. If I had to list my favorite video from this channel, I would say it's the one where she's making something with corn. Like it's very obscure, but it's very fun because I'm learning like a new recipe. But the fact that at one point in the video, she sticks like her whole hand and arm into this pot of something to do with corn is very entertaining to me. So I like that video a lot. And I guess the last thing that I could really say is that since I'm not super familiar with the in-depth lore and history of this channel, it's very interesting to kind of see the different communities within the same channel. Like you have some part of her community that really enjoy pretty much everything that she posts because it's like stuff she enjoys. So they just like her content in general. But then you have some people who have stuck around with the channel for so long because it's been there for like 10 plus years. And a lot of people are familiar with content that she posted with like a relationship that ended up being separated. So you have a lot of people making memes and references to that. And some people who are super nostalgic for the content that she used to post. Uh, so some of the stuff like tends to be with like harassing and making jokes about her a little bit um so it really it's very interesting to read the comments and kind of see how people think about it but once again i will be tagging the channel in the description so if you want to watch more of her content for yourself and learn about it that will be there but i believe that is the answer to the question so thank you very much for watching bye